you know, when the film Looper started and, you know, it was going for quite a while, I thought, I think this film should be called Loopy, not Looper, because look, it was really hard to understand. It is science fiction, but it's also has a kind of dystopian vision of the world uh, and it's got a kind of biblical fable about it. In the future, time travel is outlawed, used only in secret by the largest criminal organizations. When they need someone gone and they want to erase any trace of the target ever existing, they use specialized assassins like me, called loopers. <laughs> The main character is Joe, and he, he is a looper, and that's his job day in, day out. That's what he does. At night, he, he drives a smart car because he earns a decent living. Now, of course, the story takes a different turn when his older self, from 2074, suddenly becomes a target, and his older self actually escapes assassination. Never let your target escape. Even if your target is you. Joe knows he's got to get his older self and kill him off. Otherwise, he will no longer be able to lead the life he's leading. And the Mafia have made it quite clear to him to do that. So, of course, he takes off after, it's very weird, takes off after his older self. And so this becomes the chase. He meets Emily Blunt, who is a single mother uh, living in a prairie farmhouse with a very uh, talented, uh, my mysterious young child. And there's some link with Joe and his past. I know you're not lying when you say you're gonna kill this guy. This is like a nightmare. Look, I won't go on anymore. If it sounds as if, oh, it's all too complicated, it isn't. Like all good films, all the pieces come together in the end. I think it's an interesting film. It is hard going a bit to start with, but stay with it. Uh, and I think it makes a very interesting addition to the science fiction genre. I'm sorry. Oh my God. That's it for Movie Talk. I'm Susan Mitchell. See you next week.